Hi there! This is the second video of the video series in which we will explain Retable's basic, advanced and premium column types which will make your data operation processes more effective. In the previous video, we covered the basic column types and their features. Now, we're going to show you details about Retable's advanced column types. Let's say you want to create a table for your products. Unlike the previous video, we're not going to start from scratch, but import a document. Remember that you can import files that are in XLS or CSV format. After selecting Import a document, you can give your project a name and a description. You can choose the first row as header option to start your data from the top. In this case, we're not going to choose this option because we want to write our own headers. You can see that the values will automatically upload in the same order as in the imported sheet. Firstly, let's change the header names and add a currency column for the pricing. You can determine the currency symbol and decide on the placement. This symbol will be shown in every cell in this column automatically, which we explained in the previous video. If you want to check our video about basic column types, you can click on the top right corner. After you're done editing the existing values, let's add a formula column. When you're ready to write your formula, Retable shows you some examples immediately. You can be creative and use any formula that Retable created for you, which you can find below. Let's say we want to find the profit of each product. We're going to type minus open bracket the price column, close the brackets, add a comma and open brackets again to write cost, then close the curly brackets and the formula will automatically give us the profit value. With the formula column, you can find so many values and speed up your business easily. So don't forget to check the formula table in Retable. Now we want to give a reference to another table which includes the ingredients you use to make the products. Before adding our new column, let's add the product table to another sheet. First, import your document or write by hand. You can see that the values are listed automatically and because this time we chose the option of using the first row as header, the header is already named and ready for our usage. After that, let's go back to our original table and add the reference to another table column. You can select the ingredients and add them to each cell. This will ease your work and will show everything in one table so you don't have to look for multiple tables. Let's add a lookup values column to pull data from another table by referencing it. It automatically brings any column data selected for the reference values and when the selected reference changes, the value displayed in the lookup changes automatically and dynamically. To create a lookup, there must be a reference column in your table. We have already added our table which includes our ingredients and calories. So let's choose the reference column to calories. Retable will automatically fill the calories of each ingredient we have chosen. When we add a new ingredient, our lookup value column will automatically add the calorie here, the same as subtracting an ingredient. Now it's time to add a roll-up column. You can now easily summarize and aggregate data from multiple linked records within a single table or across multiple tables. It allows you to create customized views of your data, generate reports and calculate totals, averages and percentages with ease. You can think of this as a column of calculations that summarizes data. The first rule of creating a roll-up column is that there should be a reference column in your table because Rollup makes calculations between the data you pull from a different table. We already have a reference table with calories. We want to see the total amount of calories used in each product. After selecting the calories column, we're going to write a formula. We want to add each calorie used together, so let's type sum values and save. Now we can see the total amount of calories used in each product. If you want to automatically generate a unique number for each record, you can add the auto number column and by simply holding and dragging the column at the beginning of your table, you can see the numbers beside the names of your product. 
Remember that this column is not the same as the one on the left. These numbers are unique and cannot be changed when the rows change. You can give the URLs of each product by copying or simply typing. If you don't want them to be seen as a URL, you can easily change the appearance of it by clicking the Show As button and choosing the color and text of it. Don't forget that these buttons are clickable. Retable helps you to have a powerful algorithm to generate unique codes for each of your records. You can customize the length and use uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers and symbols. Let's just use uppercase and numbers in this table and have product numbers Retable creates just for us. Because these are unique identifiers, they can't be changed manually and they can't be repeated. Let's add another column that shows us the location of the products. You can copy the longitude and latitude coordinates of your store, paste them into the according row and now you're able to see the exact location of the product. You can also manually select the locations from the map or search for a city or country. You can add collaborators and select Add multiple collaborators if you want to see more than one person and notify them when something is changed. This helps colleagues keep track of each project and be notified of the developments. In order to add collaborators, you should first invite them to your project and when they accept your invitation, you can all see the projects together. Now let's add a created time column which helps you to see when the values are created and filled automatically by Retable. You can change the format and include time if you want to have more detail. You can add a created by column to see who created the values and it saves you the trouble of searching for who created it. Don't forget that this column cannot be changed manually. If you want to take your table one step above, you can add a last modified time column which also automatically fills the time and will change if you change them in time, which also cannot be changed manually. Again, the last modified by column will give you who edited the last value. This also will change in time if someone else edits and also cannot be changed manually. These are the advanced column types that you can use in your table to organize your data easily. If you have further questions, feel free to contact us on the following platforms and don't forget to follow us. In the next video, we're going to look at the premium column types that Retable offers. Thanks for watching!